Hello friends, welcome to the service now world and today we'll see part 4 of scenario based interview questions in service now. As you know, like in this series, we are discussing about the real time tasks which are given by interviewer during interview. So I have already created three videos in this series. So just check out the playlist and this is the part four. So let's see the today's task. So the today's task is there is a requirement that in incident form, whenever we are changing the assignment group, if any member is available in that group, set work notes that group member is available and if no group member found, then set work notes, no group member is available. So uh, here the requirement is that like uh, whenever we are changing the assignment group in incident form, we have to check like uh, any group member is available in that group or not. If member is available, we have to simply update the work notes like the member is available. If no group member is available, then we have to update the work notes. No group member is available. So let's go to the instance and try to complete this task. So now we are in the instance and let's open the incident record. So what we have to do, so for that we have to check like if you know like a, a group and user mapping is stored in one of the table their name is sys user gr member. So there we have to check like uh, any group user mapping is available for that particular group or not. If it's available we have to return yes, if it's not available then we have to return no. Something like that we have to do that. So for that like uh, we have to write the uh, like because see it's a table so we have to write the server side code for some validation because we have to use the glide record right. So we have to use the script include. And because this functionality is based upon on changing of the field, so we have to write the on change client script as well. So let's firstly write the script include. So I have just opened a duplicate tab here. And search script include. create a new one and just putting the name group members I'm just making this client callable and I'm just making from accessible all application scopes and here we'll create one function so I'm just creating one function that is member underscore check and then we have to open the body after that what we need we need from client side we need the group name right so we need the group society actually in the backend so i'll just create one variable write this dot get parameter this form underscore group but then after that we have to glide the sys user gr member table So I'll just put the sys underscore user underscore gr member and here I'll put the group and this side we have to put the variable name that is also group only. It's creating confusion something like right. So let's change the group name. Just make it capital G. So we'll not get confused here. Okay. 
and after that if any record found part we have to return we have to return yes like something so i'm just returning one string that is yes so that we can use it okay so our script include is ready we have to get the group then we have to go to the sys user gr member maybe you people have will ask like why we have taken sys user gr member why not other why not sys user group so i'll just tell you like uh, in sys user group we are storing the group but uh, when we adding the members in that particular group so that that get stored in this table only sys user gr member so that's why i'm gliding sys user gr member table only so this is ready now so i'm just saving it So our script include is ready. Now we have to write the uh, client script. That is on chain client script. So I'm just opening one more duplicate tab. And this time, go to the configure, and I'll take the client script. Click on new. Now put the client script name. So I'll just putting the check group members and type will be the on change and field name will be the assignment group. And rest of the thing will be same only and here we have to write our code so what code we have to write so we have to write we have to call our script include so for calling the script include we are using the glide ajax right so we'll write where ga equal to new glide ajax and here we have to put our script include name so what will be our script include name that is group members so i'm just copying it and paste it here then after that we have to call the function for calling the function you have to write ga dot add param write sysperm underscore name and we have to call the function name so what will be our function name that is member underscore check Then after that we need to pass one more parameter that is group society right so I'll just call ga dot add param and what parameter name we have given that is sysperm underscore group so I'll just take it same only and there we have to pass the group society so like uh, not sys id is like sys id only because it's a reference field in a incident form so generally from backend we are passing the sys id only so we have the new value okay this is done then we have to write ga dot get xml answer and we have to create one callback function so that is get group Then we have to define this function. So I'll just write get group and pass the parameter response and write if the response equal to equal to yes, then what we have to do? We have to set the value of work nodes g underscore form dot set value and this is work underscore notes one that group member is available and 
else. Else, what we have to do? We have to set the value group member is not available, right? So I'm just copying and paste it here. And group member is not available. So all set now. Let's save this one as well. So now let's take this incident record. So I am taking any one of the group. So let's say I am taking this app engine admins. Let's see what work note is saying. Group member is not available, right? Let's check any group member. Mem any member is available in that group or not? So if you see no group member is available, right? So let's try to check for other group where group member is available so let's check analytics settings manager let's see here any group member is available here also not available so what we'll do in this case let's not waste so much time in the testing i'll just take this group this analytics settings manager and i'll assign uh, i'll add one uh, group member in this group so just click on edit and take our favorite user that is favorite and popular user that is Abel Tutor. And save it. So now if you see like one group member is added in analytics settings manager. So let's change the group again. And check changing to app engine admins. You see it's showing group member is not available, right? Let's change it to the our group analytics settings manager, right? Now you'll see it's saying group member is available. And if you want to check, you see we have added the user Abel Tutor. That's why it's showing like that. So like that we have to do it. So what I have done, let me summarize you once again. We have created one client script that is on change client script, which is changing or whenever we change the value of the assignment group that will run. And what if what it will do, it will go to the script include that is group members and, and it will call the functions member check and it, it will pass the value that assignment group value from the client side. So if you come to the script include side that we are here, see uh, here like we have created one variable for getting the value of the group from the client side. Then we are just querying this table says user gr member table and checking any mapping as available or not. If any of the mapping is found, I'm returning one string that is yes. So based upon that, and uh, here in the callback function, we have uh, put the logic like if response equal to equal to yes, means if we are getting the string, if, if in response we are getting the string yes, then we have to set the work notes value is group member is available. If we are not getting yes, then we have to put the set work notes values group member is not available. So like that I have did it. And uh, if you still have any doubt, just let me know in the comment box. And uh, for you, one more task is there. And if you want, you can do it and just write in the comment below how we can do it. So the task is that in the same only, if any of the group member is available. So I want to assign the uh, assign this ticket to the particular one of any one of the group member. Let's say here like a uh, analytics settings manager is group is there and they having the user able tutor. So I want to assign whenever we are changing the assignment group, if any of the member is available, I want to assign this ticket to any one of the member uh, member group, uh, group group member. Okay. So if you, if you can do this, just put in the comment how we can do this. Okay. 
and if you have any doubt related to this client script or script include just write in the comment box comment box i'll definitely reply till that time thank you god bless you all